like I'm going to be a bit more global than usual next year. So I booked tickets for myself and my other half, Amber, to go to Gallifrey One next year. It's all looking so terribly exciting, I've got to be honest. For those that don't know, Gallifrey One is basically the longest running Doctor Who convention pretty much in the world. Let me just emphasize for how amazing that is. It's a comic con entirely devoted to Doctor Who and all its spin offs therein. It's um, a very rare occurrence. I mean, there are a few of those about, but Gallifrey One is definitely the longest running and probably the biggest. And next year is their 30th event, which is a remarkable achievement. And naturally, after the coverage of Gallifrey One 2018, I decided that, you know what, I've got to go. Just at least once in my life. I've got to go there and experience it for myself because it looks absolutely incredible. Well, what makes it incredible? The atmosphere. Seriously, I've been looking into this for a long time. Everybody loves each other there. It's so friendly. You're surrounded by like-minded fans who love the show like you do. Or whether it's cosplaying or creativity, art, writing, etc. You'll find anything for from anyone. It just seems to be such a negativity-free atmosphere. And that's bloody brilliant. Especially in these days when negativity is pretty much at an all-time high when it comes to online. As well as this, the panels. The panels are definitely something to look forward to, I mean, goodness me. They are never less than hilarious or informative, depending on who's there. And I know this year they had Stephen Moffat, and his own panel turned into a bit of a battle royale, so provided you're not caught in the crossfire, something like that could be pretty funny. Speaking of which, there are the guests. The guests are never less than sublime. I mean, they have a wide gathering of uh, people from the classic era or people from the new era. Especially these days, they're getting an increasing amount of new series guests, which is pretty cool. They had guests in the past like John Nathan Turner, the uh, show one of the 80s Doctor Who, which is quite a coup. It's just amazing how they all turn up and be social with everyone. It's really, really cool. And you, you don't really get that at a regular convention, to say the least, like, say, MCM London or FCC. The cosplay game is strong. I mean, undoubtedly, one of the best parts of this convention is that you can get away with literally any obscure Doctor Who cosplay. I mean, it's not like you're taking it to MCM and you're not going to get recognised at all, but in Gallifrey One, you will be recognised. I saw a picture of uh, a couple doing um, John Cleese and Ellen Bron from the City of Death as the art gallery visitors. And that is an inspired cosplay. That is original. And I have a lot of respect for that, so... I look forward to seeing all the obscure cosplays that I will encounter when I'm there. It's going to be a really cool guessing game. And most importantly, the fans themselves. They just seem so lovely, so down to earth. I mean, I've spoken to a few of the American ones, and they're wonderful people, honestly. So I can't wait to socialise with more of them. That's what makes the convention great in the eyes of many people. It's just so friendly. And I can't wait to experience that for myself. Who'd have thought that a Doctor Who convention would provide one of the strongest bonds between the two countries of the UK and the USA? Still trying to figure out what I would cosplay. I mean, I hope that I can get at least one episode of my DW 2012 tenure out so I can justify doing that costume. But as for the latter two days, really, uh, really, really is going to be a tough choice. Definitely want to do a 12th Doctor one, but it has to be a special one. I mean, it's an overseas con. Gotta bring my A game, you know? Of course, that in itself is the most difficult part of the con, getting there. Because it's overseas, is nowhere near as accessible as, say, something in London, of course, but obvious reasons. But we'll see what happens. I take nothing for granted in being able to get there, but I just hope that I can, and yeah, I just hope. I mean, I've always wanted to go to America as well, so it could be a nice little holiday, to be honest. I mean, it would be quite embarrassing if it turned out this video was entirely null and void in about a few months' time, but... Uh, that's a risk I'm willing to take. Anyway, are any of you going to Gallifrey One next year? If so, let me know in the comments below and tell me what you're most excited about it. I think it's just going to be brilliant. On a side note as well, there's going to be a brand new Doctor Who centred convention in the UK as well, called Warp, and it's going to be in Manchester, and that is something I'm also looking forward to going to. It'll be interesting to see how that goes. The UK's own Gallifrey One? We'll find out. Anyway, see ya!